Hi there Seeker, welcome back to Wild Letters Tarot and a very happy new year to you. Here we are guys in 2021 and I think you should give yourself a massive pat on the back for surviving 2020. What a year it was guys, I mean most definitely that is going down in the history books as one of the biggest points of change. And you can thank yourself for being a really special and important part of the global shift that is upon us. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of your support on my channel last year. I was able to grow my subscribers from about 5,000 to almost 25,000. So thank you for all of your likes, shares, subscribes and comments. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To show my appreciation, I am having a sale on personal readings. I am offering 20% off until the 10th of January when this reading finishes. All you need to do is pop over to my website, Wild Lotus Tarot, link is below, and you will always see them um, all discounted there. So thank you so much for coming on the journey with me. I just wanted to show my appreciation, call in and say hi, and to say, don't forget to trust the path, surrender to your divine plan. Let's head to your reading. Hi there Scorpio, this is going to be your weekly intuitive reading for January 4th through to the 10th. Let's see what's on the cards for you Scorpio. We're getting started here with the Work Your Light Oracle, drawing you a lead tarot card from the Moonchild Tarot. We'll then get the tarot positions out with the Rider right Waite clarified with the Star Child Tarot. So let's see what your overarching message is for the week. Scorpio. I have got deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. So it sounds like some of you are needing to take some self-care, some recovery time, maybe after the holiday period, maybe after eating and drinking and all of the festive action, you may need to take some rest. And we have mirror, who or what is triggering you. So maybe over the holiday period, you've been with friends, family, relatives, all that kind of thing. There may be people that, you know, have sort of triggered or emotionally um, made you emotionally reactive in some way. I'm going to have to say it. And it's really saying here that maybe you just need to retreat, spend some time with yourself in order to, you know, recharge your energy. Let's get your overarching tarot card. And I have got five of wands. Well, very fitting for the message that we've just um, presented here. I mean, five of wands can be about conflict. It can be internal conflict or external. It's generally very petty conflict. You know, the niggling at each other after spending too much time in, in close confines with family. Uh, it can be corporate politics in the office gossip and friendship groups, that kind of thing. It's also my card of energy leaks because when we're involved in drama, it can really be energy intensive for us, right? And also we need to know that, you know, maybe we are, you know, having more of a responsibility in that than what we may think, right? And that's what the mirror card is trying to tell you. See your responsibility in this and know when to walk away, know when to retreat in order to manage your energy. Let's go to the right of weight, Scorpio. We'll begin with the energy of the recent past. Whoa, Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. Okay, divine timing is upon you. Could be some big changes coming through in your life. Let's get the energies leaving, completing. Oh, sorry, no, it is the focus energy. The focus energy is the Nine of Pentacles. I really feel that that's how you're going to emerge after having this rest and recovery, shining bright again. And then you're going to start magnetizing opportunities here. I also have the Hermit, the card of Virgo from the Major Arcana at the bottom of the deck. Also a number nine. So you have two nines, a ten. Let's go for the clarifier for the Wheel of Fortune. Here it goes. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Time to move away from conflict for absolute sure. I've got the Eight of Swords clarifying the Nine of Pentacles. 
clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, I have got the Knight of Wands. I'm going to grab one more for the Nine of Swords, please. What is that stress about? What is that overthinking about the Scorpio? Overthinking, overanalyzing. Here we go. Oh, wow, big energies. The Nine of Wands and Starseed, which is the full. Guess what's at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio? The Wheel of Fortune. So you have two Wheels of Fortune. The universe is really saying it is time for a, a luck change. It is time for a cycle to end. Maybe one that has been really burning out your energy, causing you to be triggered because you've stayed in it for too long. It's time for you to retreat, to let go of the stress and the burden that you get when you stay in something past its use by date. Now we've got triple nines here. Nine in tarot is that number of um, fruition and fulfillment. So it says that you are you know, moving closer to that if you can kind of overcome maybe the conflict that you're facing that might be blocking that wheel of fortune from turning. So let's start here Scorpio with the nine of wands and nine of swords, double nines. And it's interesting because the nine of wands for me can be that almost but not quite energy. It is the, you know, the, the wounded warrior card. It says that you have weathered the storm, but you are so close to a luck change, right? You are so close to this new chapter. Just keep going a little bit more. Try not to let the mind, the ego run away with you. The nine of swords can be the overthinking, the overanalyzing, the um, temptation to, to sabotage, self-sabotage, either consciously or subconsciously. The Nine of Wands says you've got enough energy in the tank to make it out of the situation, to make it to those fertile pastures that you're really desiring. And it's interesting because we have the Knight of Wands at the end of the reading, which for me carries the One Wand that together with the Nine makes Ten. And we know that the Ten of Wands is about releasing the weight, releasing the burden, and, you know, really... Um, Releasing what has held you stuck and stopped you from seeing the new paths is what I'm hearing here. So you're very, very close. Keep going. Don't give up. Conserve your energy is the message here. Now we've got the Wheel of Fortune twice and the Fool here because the wheel wants to turn and bring you on a whole new path. It's got something to do with that Ace of Pentacles opportunity over there. So make sure you're not blocking that with any kind of conflict. The fall is about taking a leap of faith on an opportunity that's going to come in. And I think it's to do first with closing out that cycle. So the fall is about trusting the path that is beginning to emerge for you. Not getting hung up on the destination or where it's all heading, but taking those first steps as the hermit would do illuminated with that lantern yes you might feel a bit in the dark now but if you just start moving in the direction that you truly want to go in you know that's when the path will illuminate further the wheel of fortune can turn and karmic cycles can can change and complete so the wheel of fortune can be closing out a major cycle in your life and beginning a new one it's also about divine timing so it says that divine timing is upon you and it's the right time for all this to be playing out. Leave the baggage in the past and go in the direction of your dreams, your desires, and your rebel heart. So it's a beautiful message there. And your current or focus energy here, Scorpio, Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. So the Nine of Pentacles is that very much that independent, self-sufficient, solo energy. We also have the Hermit, which is a solo energy as well. So I'm feeling that some of you are moving away from groups, networks, family members or partners this week. And it might just be for a rest or a retreat. Uh, some of you might be permanently moving away in, in some means. But the Nine of Pentacles shows that when you do that, you really get back your, your, all of your luster, all of your glow. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody who is looking great, feeling great, and from that place magnetizes abundance. But we need to make sure that we keep that mind under control because the Eight of Swords can be those old self-limiting beliefs or the victim mentality or why am I in this situation coming back up. And when it does, it can kind of build, they say, a mental prison as well. Make sure you're tuning into your intuitive centers as well. 
The Nine of Pentacles says when this wheel turns, you're going to have the ability to create some kind of abundance, maybe financial wealth or more stability for yourself. And I think it's linked to the Ace of Pentacles there. So it's saying focus on your individual energy this week. Really get yourself in a good place. Focus on intuition rather than mind. Um, take all that beautiful self-care Maybe groom yourself nicely. All those kind of things is going to be important for attracting the energy that you want. So over here in the outcome, I've got the Hermit, the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. So this is about forward movement and new opportunity. But first of all, you know, we've got the Hermit here, which can be about going within to seek wisdom. It's got something to do with that retreat card. I think it's what, it, what it's trying to say here, Scorpio, is that you might need to go through an introspective time first in order to put yourself in the right place to seize this opportunity that the Ace of Pentacles is offering. It is again a solo energy about taking the quiet retreat, seeking your own counsel, healing, going through some kind of transformation or rebirth. And the more you do that, the more this you know beautiful star, um, the star energy in this lantern burns brighter and the brighter it burns, the more of that new pathway is revealed to you. So that is the Hermit energy. And what's on that pathway is the Ace of Pentacles. Some kind of divine gift or divine reward is waiting for you. The Ace of Pentacles generally comes in for the person who's overcome those blocks, those obstacles, those challenges, has closed out the cycles, has overcome the limitations of the mind. Um, it really is a divine gift. It can be an increase in finances. It can be new commitments or contracts, new home, new, new ways to make money, new job, that kind of thing. It really links to our earthly resources. And here we have the Knight of Wands, which is the card of Sagittarius. And this is about forward movement. And it has quite a swift pace to it, the Knight of Wands. So it kind of says, if you do that introspection, and you seek your own counsel, you're going to be led to the path where you'll see the seed of opportunity and you will know when that's upon you and then that will be full steam ahead. I think this opportunity, whatever it is, is going to be something that lights you up, something that you're very passionate um, about, something that really aligns with you. And the Knight of Wands knows that by pursuing that, you know, and heading onto that new frontier, he, she, you can manifest what you truly desire. It is a swift movement card. So that's what I'm seeing here for Saggy. There's like a new beginning opening up for you. But first of all, we need to let go of energies that are not supportive of that, things that are triggering us. Because when we're triggered, we're not in our best energy and we're not responsive to the opportunities upon us. Take the rest, take the retreat, seek your own counsel. And somewhere in there, you're going to get the insight or wisdom that is going to literally turn that wheel because it's going to put you on the fool's journey where you will find that big coin beautiful okay scorpio well i am going to leave it there for you this week and i do hope you enjoyed this reading keeping in mind it's a general reading for the collective it may or may not be your message if you're called to share leave me a comment i do read them all and i do my try my best to to respond to as many as i can helps me get to know you connect with your energy and see what's happening out there in the collective scorpio it has been a pleasure i'll see you back here next week for another one bye for now